that 11 diaries written through the course of 11 years finally led to the death of these 11 people this is a bizarre case this is something which has never happened in the country but now all of it coming together like pieces of a jigsaw puzzle The State Department has evacuated several American staffers from a consulate in China after they came down with a mysterious illness. We've now seen this type of attack in two places, Cuba and now China. Do U.S. officials believe these are linked and being done with malicious intent? Well, listen, you can't rule out that they are linked given that you had the incidents in Cuba and now what's happening in China. Too much of a coincidence that this would just be something that was happening by accident. And so uh, investigators haven't told us much about what they found. Things got complicated here in April when the Canadian government also pulled the families of their diplomatic staff after Canadian medical specialists think they found a new type of a possible acquired brain injury, something they say is even new to science. In China, those who live near the American workers find it really odd. This coffee shop owner says it could be something to do with the person's conditions and wonders why anyone else didn't hear it. Their symptoms include headaches, hearing loss, and cognitive issues. They are similar to those experienced by American diplomats in Cuba in 2016. Things got complicated in April when the Canadian government also pulled the families of their diplomatic staff after Canadian medical specialists think they found a new type of brain injury, something they say is even new to science. Cuban government has always claimed they're not responsible. With these uh, mysterious sonic attacks, but obviously this is something that is serious. It is affecting U.S. personnel overseas. Uh, could it be some sort of malicious attack? Uh, who's behind it? You know, this is serious, and especially as these cases continue to grow. Deepening mystery. Jeff Pegues in Washington. For Crews had shown up to that same facility earlier today for chlorine leak, but it is unclear what sickened the workers tonight. The only evidence of yesterday's hazmat situations, a pile of used protective suits left out in the parking lot. Last night's situation was actually two different events. The first incident occurring just after 3 p.m. Sunday, chlorine was leaking from a valve in a closed room, a situation that could have been toxic. Chlorine is very dangerous. It was used in World War I as a, as a gas to attack. It wasn't until close to 2.30 this morning that response teams finally wrapped up their investigation of the second incident, when at around 9 p.m., a second shift of employees felt sick. Close to 30 of them either transported or drove themselves to the hospital. In that second incident, according to the fire marshal's office, entry teams covered the entire building with a variety of meters and found no contaminants that would be hazardous. There seemed to be a panic in the building and they all made an exit through this side of the building and they all exited it rapidly which caused a mass hysteria in my belief that a lot of people got very upset and very excited. Now this company makes parts for e-cigarettes and as far as all those folks that went to the hospital we're told everybody was treated and released. There was one person who suffered a stroke here, uh, make that a, a seizure, a woman we don't know whether it was connected to yesterday's events. 
We're live in Salem this noon. Doug me in WCVB. Uh, when manipulated correctly, mass hysteria is the key to any grand change. So what is hysteria? The American Heritage Statements Medical Dictionary defines hysteria as spontaneous, en masse development of identical emotional symptoms among a group of individuals. Now, the reason why hysteria is so compelling it be is because it unites people around the cause. People search for meaning, for a reason to exist. I'm, I'm sure all of you are going through the same things, even if so many time has passed. And hysteria gives people that reason. The mysterious death of 11 persons from one family. Now, the focus of the investigation is on notes found in the house. In a shocking incident, 11 members of family were found dead under mysterious circumstances in their home in Indian capital of New Delhi. The police said during the search of the house, certain handwritten notes have been found which point towards observance of some definite mystical practice by the whole family. These visuals put it and put it simply once and for all how everything that was mentioned in the diary played out and now there is concrete evidence that it was corroborated by everything seen in the CCTV footage. Now what you see on your screen right now is two women walking in with a stack of stools. Amongst them this woman that you see is the elder daughter-in-law of the family. She takes it and walks up to her house at simply no pressure but just with the help she went to a neighbor brought these tools and took it up now why is this important because in the diary the last noting of the diary it is mentioned very clearly this noting comes in on the 30th of june 2018 it says that there will be five stools picked up from sturdy stools picked up and baby he says the sixth stool that is the mystery the baby who is the widowed sister she will be standing on a red colored small stool something again which has been corroborated by the police The other thing that was mentioned in the diary was the timing. It was said that Shaniwar or Ravivar ki raat, that means in the intervening night of Saturday and Sunday is when this will happen, that has also been put on record. All of this again corroborated by that uncensored footage that I have seen that the police has, but it's just too gruesome to put it out for viewers right now. This is a bizarre case. This is something that has never happened in the country, but now all of it coming together like pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. So, maybe you are looking at my title and thinking, how is Salem, uh, which trials, any related to this? Well, um, let's, go, let's um, go across the Atlantic Ocean and move uh, 400 years back. So, Salem witch trials started in spring of 1692 when um, some girls and I'll na later name them said that um, accused women of lower ranks with um, with being witches and they said that those women were conversing with the devil were engaging with the devil and uh, fortunately during the trials records were kept so we know everything that was said and we know everything that was thought so Salem Witch Trials shows hysteria in action. Why did those young girls accuse women of being witches? Because those young girls, in particular 12-year-old Abigail Williams and 9-year-old Betty, pa Betty Paris, uh, her cousin, uh, had strange tremors and fits of anxiety. Now Reverend, Samuel, uh, Reverend Hale from Beverly came and said that this these tremors, these fits, could not have been caused by a natural cause. 
Now, hysteria moves Hysteria is the example of snowball effect. When you start it, just give a little bit of suggestion. It will grow and grow and grow. So the suggestion of Beverly Hale that maybe um, these tremors were not caused by a natural cause started all of this process.